Hey guys, in this side from 24 by 7 everything, hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on Samsung Galaxy J8 or I would say Samsung Galaxy J8 Infinity. So in this particular video, we'll be going to see how to do factory data reset or how to do or I would say how to reset your phone. So let's begin with that. So in this particular video, uh, you will be going to see that uh, factory reset. But before that, I'll be uh, like recommending you to take backup because everything will be wiped or deleted from your internal storage. So it should be best that if you could keep the backup in your SD card or either in external storage like PC, laptop and so on. So I'm assuming that you have already taken the backup. Now let's proceed with the factory data reset. For that, you have to open app drawer and then select on settings section or uh, icon. Afterward, just scroll to the very bottom where you will see about phone again, uh, scroll to the bottom and you will see reset. Just tap it here. Now, before we jump into the factory data reset, I need to discuss few other things. If you are doing factory data reset just for the network related issue, then I'll uh, suggest you that just for, uh, do this reset network setting and it will resolve all your underlying issues until unless uh, if it is not an hardware issue. If you are being frustrated with the settings and you just want to make it default, then I'll suggest you to do reset setting because this will not be needing any data backup process and so on. Everything will be key kept intact. Some settings will be reset like passwords you have to enter for the Wi-Fi and so on. Now, again, if you know, if you have already done this part and you are so frustrated that you yeah, are uh, like my uh, underlying issues are not being resolved and so on, then I will suggest to move with the factory data reset. So for that, you just tap it here. And it will show you a prompt that all your data will be raised like from Google account system apps and so on. The best thing is that data on SD card will not be uh, erased. So it will always be there. So if you are pretty sure that you have already taken backup and date on either on SD card or PC or laptop, then I'll suggest you to tap on reset button. Again, it will show you the last warning like all your personal information and downloaded apps will be erased and can't be recovered for sure. Data that has been uh, backed up on SD card won't be erased, so it will be intact. You can restore the SD card data using smart switch and so on. That's a separate thing. So let's say everything is in uh, like I would say sync. So we are good to go with the factory reset. I'll be tapping it here. Delete all. Now it is saying shutting down. Now Samsung has just rebooted, will be rebooting our phone and afterward you will see data erasing process and afterward Samsung will initiate the uh, data encryption and other setups to initiate the phone setup process. So now you will see data erase option. So data erasing, so uh, data has been erased. So basically our phone has been like data on our phone has been erased and now data encryption process has been started. Now afterward it will initiate the installing application section and afterward you will see the phone setup process. So let's wait till the time we'll move to the uh, installing app section. So finally the installing application setup of wizard has been started now it will move to the phone setup process so let's wait till the time we move to the phone setup process so finally phone setup process has been started so let's complete it asap so i'll be selecting just the very minimal set of permissions so that we can complete this video or wrap up this video asap so i just tap on next button now we have option either to connect with a wi-fi or we can do everything offline so for this video i'm doing everything offline so i'm just tapping on skip if you will be connecting uh, connected to the wi-fi then you will be able to proceed with some of these other steps so at this moment it is asking you can choose to transfer your app and data from google account so again i'm just going to skip this part by pressing on don't copy now as there is no sim in this particular phone or even not connected to any internet that's why it is showing us older data or i would say older date and so on that's why i'm just skipping this part as well we'll we can set up afterward so again setting up google permission also again skipping the uh, security part so if if you will be connected to wi-fi then you will be having those sections where you can select get uh, i would say app recommendation and so on as at this moment we were not uh, connected to net that's why it just skipped automatically so this is almost our final step where we have to sign into uh, samsung account so again i am skipping it so we have almost completed everything so now it will say do you have to tap on done button and so on so let me just tap on finish and now it will say to okay and as soon as I'll be tapping on done button, it will be directly booted into the home screen. So finally, we have completed the factory data reset process or we have successfully reset our phone. And this is the by default layout uh, uh, provided by Samsung on one UI core 2.0 for Samsung Galaxy J8 or I would say J8 Infinity. 
Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this with your friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.